What is up, all you beautiful ass individuals? It is your favorite, not favorite YouTuber, Quad Bob at FTV, aka Toothless. Got a surprise today. Got the Coso meter for the bolt. Finally getting ready to get rid of that nasty factory tap factory meter. Why do they? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Ooh, what do we got here? This is the factory gauge. God, I'm an idiot. I've already put the Coso gauge in. Shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> but at least you got the unboxing experience. What did you think? Okay, and before we go on our little road test of uh, a little Coso meter here, I might as well get two birds stoned at once and uh, fix my weed eater. My weed eater died today and, uh... oh God, that was inappropriate. Anyway, it was uh, one of them damn Black & Decker weed eaters and the battery just sucks. So uh, we're gonna go change that. And I uh, might as well take the bike, but I can't fit a weed eater on the bike, so the wife is gonna have to drive. She wanted me to go in the car, but, uh, I've got to drive. I've got to get on two wheels, man. I've got to get some of that therapy. Because, boy, I need it. <laughs> we all need a little. We all need a little help. Hell, I need supervision. Now, something to keep in mind. Damn, it's really loud. Something to keep in mind. Uh, the factory speedometer <clears throat> was about 20% off. It was definitely a good full 10 miles an hour off. I don't know, I don't do math well on the percentages, so just disregard that first part, but it is a good full 10, 10 miles an hour off. <clears throat> well, mine was. So, uh, let's see just how far off this one is. I love being able to see that tack sweep. Uh, that's just that's a that's worth it right there And now we have a gear indicator where we didn't on the original uh, The ability to change the colors uh, I think this Coso meter is worth every penny Obviously, I wish it was cheaper But and I also wish it came with a relocation bracket um it will work in the factory location, but because they give you extra lead, because, you know, they know you intend on changing it or changing your bars or whatever, they do give you an extra lead to connect to your, uh, you know, your ECU and all that. Okay, right now it's saying we're doing 31 and this is 27. Well, it was. Okay, we'll have to do it when we're holding something steady. Steady 28, 26.5. That ain't bad. Now granted, we don't know how much this is off either, but as far as the comparison, oh, what do we got here? I'm talking about the bike, not the dude running. Okay, let's do about a 45 mile an hour test. Well, there's a steady 50. It's going back and forth between 50 and 49. A lot of nice bikes. It's not far off. I like that. Now, just like any other gear indicator, the, the transmission does have to be engaged and clutch engaged for it to register on the little thingy, my boob. So right now it's, you know, just like any other. <laughs> Here's another thing to mention. I don't know if you can see, but the speedometer is flashing. You can go in and set at what speed you want it to alert you, you know. So I've just, I have not changed any of that. But you can also go in and set where your shift light is and all that good stuff. Because obviously the bolt's not gonna hit no damn eight grand. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's just that. And that's what it is. Damn, would you look at that fat bastard right there? That is a sexy... Okay, no, sorry. I got distracted by my own self. I'm definitely going to have to go in and change that flashing shit. Because the six... <laughs> it drives me crazy. I'm going to have to set it at like 110 or something. <laughs> I don't know, just turn it off. I'm not so 
and confident that I can't tell or, you know, notice what speed I'm going. Hey, dickhead, you're speeding. You're speeding, dickhead. No shit. Because I'm twisting the wrist. Man, I seriously hope this footage comes out decent. This is the second time I've had to do this because <laughs> the first time the camera mount was just so shitty that the, it was just top of the just shaking so damn bad you couldn't see what the hell was going on. And it was done at night. So I figured, nah, let's reshoot it during the day. I really wished I would have filmed myself installing the, uh, the meter itself because just the meter was okay, but that bracket was kind of a pain in the ass. And only because you have to, it uses the riser bolts to sandwich the plate between the nuts and, you know, that type of shit. Normally right now, I would have a horrible glare on my speedometer. And the bolts are notorious for not being able to see the speedo anyway. And with a situation like that, the COSA meter is perfectly legible. I love it. I would buy it seven times over if I could. I can't afford it, I don't, and I don't have seven bikes. <laughs> but it is awesome. And I would definitely recommend it to anybody who has a product that they have fit. I know they have a lot for a bunch of different models. But as far as the bolt specifically, it is a must upgrade. I, I don't know why, but I love to see the chrome nut, but that's what you do on a date, am I right, fellas? <laughs> you screw your nut, you bolt. <laughs> that would be a great t-shirt, however. Have like an eye and then a screw. <laughs> the screw, I nut, and then have a nut, like an actual tool or, you know, the, a nut. And then for the bolt part, have it the bolt bike. I don't know. That would be sick. Maybe that could be a signature shirt of the old quad fala. That's actually a really fun place to fly FTV. There's really good spots. Although we keep getting kicked out of there. Well, just in the parking deck park. They seem to not care if we're in the courtyard, which is weird. I think they would not care about the damn parking deck. <laughs> Well, we have made it to the Home Depot, and uh, she ain't here. I guess we outran her. So we're going to go in here and uh, look for a damn weed eater, man. You want to come with me? Hell, I'll bring you inside. Come on. Okay. Probably going to end up going with something Ryobi. We have the Ryobi ecosystem, you know, our chainsaw and all that shit. So we might as well stay Ryobi, right? We're Ryobi. R-Y-O-B-I. Yeah, that's the problem with Okay, what do we got here? We need Ryobi chainsaw. I mean, we need it right there. 40 volt brushes. Now, no, I can't break. All right, let's get out. We need her in tow. Let's hit the road. Hey, y'all want to change the color? Go to a different color. Oh, hang on. Let's see. Let's do Harley Yellow. Wait a minute. Which one was it? Okay. We're going to do green. Hell with it. And cycle through. There we go. But guys, thank you for coming back to my channel and checking out the Coso meter. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And please, please give me a like and it'd be awesome if you could subscribe, man. I mean, I'd really appreciate it. I'm gonna jam out to this song.